There's so much about to not mention. When I, okay. when, when I brought him up on that platform because Stack Stone kept bringing it up. Okay, yeah, you bought so be home and blah blah blah. So I bad. was there actually, yeah, if you be, remember. Yeah, remember, I was remember I was there. there. Was in the back, he kept talking to me in the back. Okay, yes. Um, yeah. let me just say something real quick, just so we could give a little bit of uh, uh context to what was going on. Yeah. Um, we had did an interview earlier that day here. Facts. So earlier that day, we did an interview here. It was me and Corey King, Mel, um, Mel Cross. Killer Kev and Wildcat. We did an interview here. It was a pretty good interview. If you ask me, everybody was able to be able to speak and get their points across. Mm, and nobody at all spoke down on anybody and there wasn't yeah. any hostility or anything. Everybody got along. That's a fact. Um, what a lot of people don't know is after we went to the interview that was at uh, the Queen's Flip interview before that interview started. Now, let me also say, I like what Queen's Flip is doing over there. I appreciate what that brother is doing. So uh, this is in no way at all any type of shade I'm trying to throw at anybody. We're just, yeah. you know, adding context to the conversation. When Stack Stone had came in, I that was the first time I've ever met Stack Stone. I've never seen him or met him before. When Stack Stone had came in, it seemed like he came in with, uh, he was... You know, not it had didn't have the same energy everybody else had been walking around with for the duration of the day. Yeah. So while everybody else was more jovial, he came in with a certain seriousness that was kind of conflicting with the emotions that everybody else had. So yeah, he was happy, basically, he was having fun. Yeah. So when we when y'all did before y'all even got on camera, I believe he had brought up Sobe. Did he not? Mm hmm. He brought up Sobe before camera started Same rolling. Time. At first, I was trying to ignore him. I'm like, yeah. I, I think said, he was even asked. I said, yo, so cool. We ain't on so. He kept saying, yeah, but at the end of the day, you all our big homie. Like, he pulled the headshot of you out. He told my SI and them, but them dudes ain't really had nothing to do with Sobe. And he kept going and going and going in until eventually, remember, we was on that third bottle with Henny. By that time, because la a lack of eating, we didn't really eat like that. The yak kicked in and then. Everything he said kind of clouded my judgment, had me a little emotional about the whole situation. The OG Mac situation came out and about, because he brought it up, yeah, they saying they exposed Mac, but you exposed Mac. And so it was a fact, but it was Sorry, a fact. I missed that. Uh, Could you say it again? They're on our phones, y'all. Look, they're on our phones. But anyway, so, you know, I just I just feel like he pulled on that, 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 that the anger slash emotional caught okay like he kept bringing it up bringing it up like yo you and so be and quell all y'all go for the street like like how like like, like it would have been, been me like i would move for you because everybody know you ain't really against the homies and you like you're not a liar like that so and it's just a conversation that you was with me all day you know yeah. i am I, I didn't say a bad word we had fun we had i mean so he brought kind of the worst out of me at that point now because now it's no longer, I'm not longer ignoring him, now I'm feeding it to it. Like, yeah, fact, like, dudes pulled a blood for me with regard to what, like, I would drop my flag for dudes, and he put me in that mode. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And so that's what it was, man. So, yeah, we wasn't, it wasn't about so be anybody else at that point. We were supposed to go up there and basically do the same thing we did earlier, you know, not highlight um, negativity or violence, but to explain to the world why we had the result to the measures that resulted to. Also, that, you know, it's really not a good thing or a productive thing for the youth to become gang members. It doesn't matter what it is, Latin King, Blood, Crip, um, Patia, so on and so forth. Um, also, to say if you are part of a gang, don't be afraid to grab balance, meaning religion you can be mm. muslim you can be christian you know what i mean whether it's judaism buddhism if that's your religion of preference religion brings about discipline that's a fact if you follow religion wholeheartedly it brings about discipline simple you know what i mean a lot of people got that twisted you can have a religion you see me before i eat what do i do jack Pray. I say, I say, pray. You know what I mean, oh heavenly Father, 
I give you all the honor and praise. Bless your food I'm about to partake in. In Jesus' all the mighty name we pray. Amen. You know what I mean? So we can't have a religion for those that don't understand. But that's what we's up there for. We up there to talk about balance, to talk about stability out here in the free society. Okay. You know what I mean? Something that your the side that you don't understand about us, like we all we all rooted. We stand for certain things. Maybe it wasn't displayed because the youth grew up following the youth. That's a fact. They didn't grow up following us. They grew up following the youth. So if somebody came home and he was 25 years old and his peers are 26, 27, 23, then, and, he, and they, oh, he, oh, he was out there with them, with CK and everybody, and so being them, he became the leader out in the street mm. and not the elders. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, so, you know, with that said or whatever, you know, that's what we went up there for. You know, because you, you was a part of the conversation yeah. at one point, and then Dean started to be getting a little rocky or whatever because of Stack Stone. His whole vibe changed. Then he challenged me with, yo, your hand in my face. Like, with the way Queen Flipper had it set up, you Everybody was on top of everybody else. And, it really and, wasn't. And, and that wasn't like, on purpose. I had it in front of me, yeah. right? Could I really maneuver beside doing it? I can't go here because it's a big mic. The mic is this well, big. Well, first of all, let's just be fair. <laughs> let's just be fair. Yeah. Uh, people from the hood tend to talk with their hands. And it's right. not ever really to be aggressive towards... Well, it, you do... Sometimes people do it and they're not doing it to be aggressive towards another person. And if I remember... Uh, Accordingly, you was actually speaking to somebody that was on the other side of Stackstone. Wow, okay. Exactly. Yeah, so you was just reaching over, and it was like uh, you was not just reaching out with your words, but since you was really feeling what you was talking about, you was also physically moving your body. Yeah. So he felt the way about that, or whatever the case was. But this is the thing that the internet does to people. The internet makes people think that we have to, we are at conflict with one another, and mm -hmm. I think it's really important for us to stop being that conflict that one with one yes. another we could think differently we don't have to always agree but we don't have to be at conflict to the point where we can't have a discussion that's a fact so that that's just yeah. an internet thing that's just my opinion yeah. and then and